at ellipse, what we're looking at is x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1. And if we compare that to a circle, it was x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So when you divide it by r squared, you get 1 equal to x squared plus y squared. And these values here are the same. If they're different in a sum equal to 1, you get what we call an ellipse. And that's what we're looking at this time is an ellipse. The ellipse is a stretched out circle that has a major axis of from the origin, the 0, 0, goes from minus a to a. Right? And then the vertical part is going to go from b, minus b to b. So this will be 0, b, 0, negative b. With those two values, you should be able to figure out what the ellipse looks like, a squashed circle. You can squash those horizontally or vertically. And then what we often do is we locate a focal point, a focus, and the distance from, if we're looking at the origin to that, we're going to define as h. And then when we go beyond the uh, vertices, where the major axis is for the ellipse, we get what we call the directrix. And that we're going to call k, comma, y, because it can be 0, 1, 2, 3, negative 1, 2, 3. It can be anything. It's a line. So the idea here is, is that what is k equal to? What is h equal to? So that we can uh, figure out uh, what, where these focal points and directrices are. Well, the, what we have to go on is if you, like with the uh, parabola, if you go from the focal point to a point x, y, to a point normal to the directrix, this ratio, pn over pf, is going to be my eccentricity. And it was 1 for a parabola. Now it's just going to be e. You want to be able to express the focal point and the directrix in terms of a, b, and e. So what they essentially did in this expression is they compared f to here to a to here. They compared those two. And that af over an will equal to e. And then they compared for, for b. They went from b to f. And then they went from b to n and compared it. So when you get those two, equations, then what you can do is you can say, all right, if I add those together, I'm going to eliminate h. And when I subtract them, I'm going to eliminate k. And so for one, we're going to be able to find k, and one, we're going to be able to find h. And that was my whole point, because k is the directrix, x equal to plus or minus a over e. And h is the focal point, which is going to be 0, or not 0. It's going to be a times e, comma, 0, plus or minus. And that'll get you the two focal points. Right? Then, if you use the idea that pf equals e, pn, with these substitutions, and you do all the algebra, you're going to be able to find that x squared over a squared, which we're used to, plus y squared over a squared times 1 minus e squared equals 1. This is what b squared is equal to, a squared 1 minus e squared. That's a helpful formula, because if we knew a and we knew e, we could find b, 
we could find the focal point, and we could find the directory. And that's what we do. So here are all the shortcut formulas for the y-intercepts. This is for the b's, plus and minus b's. This is to relate b, again, to a and e. Here's your directrix, and here's your focal point. You can see a visual of that here, where you can see your focal point here, focal point here, directrix here and here. And you can find the uh, major axes, vertices, where the ellipse hits the x-axis. You can see the places of minor uh, axes where the ellipse hits the y-axis. And we talked about the eccentricity is less than 1. That makes it an ellipse. Greater than 1, we'll see what happens next week. A and B are not equal to each other. And then all of those together are in this little grid here to show you if you have uh, focal points on the x-axis, there you go. Focal points on the y-axis, there you go. And, of course, your directrix will follow if whatever your, wherever your focal points are. And all of these... All of these are helpful in doing problems like what you'll see with um, the examples here. I thought this example was great. It took 2x squared plus 4y squared equals 16. And when you divide by 16, you can see directly you get the 1, but you're going to get x squared over 8 and y squared over 4. That tells you that it's an ellipse and not a circle. So... If you pinpoint your A squared and your B squared, you can find A, which is square root of 8, 2 root of 2, and B, which is square root of 4, which is 2. So that allowed me to draw this to find the directrix and to find the um, focal point. You need to know what P is. So this relationship that we had for B and A has an E in it, we can use that to find the eccentricity, which is 1 over square root of 2, and then the focal point is A, E, comma, 0, plus and minus, and X is equal to plus and minus A over E. And that's how they found all those values. And then you can look at this example here, too, where they're given the focus and the eccentricity and go backwards. All you need to do there is... The focus and the eccentricity will help you find A, because AE is equal to 3. And if E is equal to 1 half, you can find out what A is. And A is going to be 6. But once you know that, now you can put it into this equation to find B, and then you can find your final equation. So go ahead and do those problems, finding either from the equation, find focus and directrix, or you can be given focus, eccentricity, or whatever, and you can find the equation.